Good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Prophet Tammy Collins, and I'm back. Um, I'm back today with another topic. I won't be with you long today. Um, but this is something the Lord gave me to speak on. And to be honest with you, I'm sort of kind of not really comfortable talking about this. Um, but as I studied deep into the text, and the Lord gave me revelation on what's to come um, regarding the animated and regarding um, the zombies, um, how people will be turn and become reanimated and become undead. I have scriptures to back this. Now, I want you to know I didn't know that the scripture was so deep and rooted that our God, our Lord, our Creator, would allow such horrific things to take place among creation, among mankind, is to cause people to be changed into zombies. But this is something that's that we're going to experience. If you're still here living alive and remaining on earth, you will experience. Either um, you'll become someone you know will become reanimated, or it's going to be a really tough time to survive to keep from being contaminated by these, these undead creatures who are humans, were humans, but will be revived, and they will crave and feed on humans. I don't like talking about this, and this is something touchy that I just really, I had to get used to it, but I didn't know that the scriptures were so in-depth to back what's, what's coming. So when you see the movies, the zombie apocalypse, when you see the reanimated, the undead, these movies, this is tied into the Bible text. Now, we don't know, I don't know, how fast these things will move, how hungry these things will be, how vicious they will be. I don't know. You know, I just pray that you're skilled and you, you have the Holy Spirit with you to survive what is coming up on the earth. And they will come up from among mankind. They will come from among us. So let me give you the title today is They Will Come From Among Us. And like I mentioned, I won't be with you long. We'll say a short prayer. We're going to get into the scriptures and explain how they will come from among us. Okay? Father God, I come before you now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this word. I pray, Lord, that those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, may this word fall on their hearts. Give them revelation. Strengthen them, Lord, because we're going to experience some things that we never experienced before, and we're going to see some things we never have seen before that are going to manifest upon the earth and, and reveal them itself to mankind. Strengthen those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Bless those in their comings and goings. Protect them and their families. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, let's get into the highlight scripture today and it will be um, my topic that will come from among us um, let's start off with Isaiah Old Testament Isaiah 14 12 which reads as and this shall be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the peoples that wage war against Jerusalem their flesh will rot while they are standing on their feet their eyes will rot in their sockets and their tongues will rot in their mouths this is going to happen to those who are coming against Jerusalem, God's holy chosen people. This is what the scripture says, and according to Isaiah 14, 12, that's the highlight scripture. They're going to be reanimated. They're going to be, it's going to be a plague. It says here, a plague. We're going to come up on those who are against Jerusalem. Okay, let's move forward in the synopsis. I have a short synopsis today, and it reads as, reanimated to give new life to the dead body, flesh, life, vigor, or spirit, to reactivate a dead person, according to Zechariah 14, 12, which reads as, and this shall be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the peoples that wage war against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they are standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets, and their tongues will rot in their mouths. This is... The portion of those who wage war against Jerusalem. Okay, now, like I mentioned, I'm really not a big fan of the zombie movies. I don't, I, I don't do the 
I'm not a big, put it this way, I'm not a big fan of cannibalism. Because that's what it is. It's cannibalism. And there's a scripture here, according to Jeremiah 19, 9, where the Lord plagued his people, the Israelites. They were plagued with cannibalism because of rebellion, because of sin. The famine was so severe upon that nation to where he caused them to eat from among one another. Okay, let's go to Leviticus 26 and 29, which reads as, You shall eat the flesh of your sons and your and you shall eat the flesh of your daughters. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, you know. This had to sink in. And I'm was kind of telling myself, why would why would our God allow such, you know, but you know, he's a God of justice, a wrath, and he's a God of, of, of mercy. But when he gets angry, then you'll see a dark side. And obviously he got angry, and this is what he plagued them with. It was a famine. And where they were so hungry, they ate each other. Okay, let's go to Isaiah 26, 19 and 20, which reads as, Your dead body shall live. I don't like it, trust me. When I came across this study, this scripture, I was like, oh my God. He, will he do such thing to mankind? Yes, God has, and yes, God will. Isaiah 26, 19 through 20, Old Testament, which reads as, Your dead body shall live. Their bodies shall rise you who dwell in the dust, awake, sing for joy. For your dew is a dew of light, and the earth will give birth to the dead. Come, my people, enter your chambers, meaning your houses. My people, come, my people, meaning hide yourselves. Come, my people, into your chambers. Shut your doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until the fury has passed. It's, it's right here. They're going to roam the streets. They're going to walk through. I mean, this is what happened, what he did in Isaiah, um, or what's coming. Because Isaiah was a prophet. He prophesied to his people then and what, what what's to come. Okay. He was a prophet that was given to, to the Israelites, and he was sent out from God. You know, he, was a, he walked with God, but he was a major prophet. When he saw these things, God showed him these things. They were either to come or he experienced them then. But it's saying here, enter your chambers, meaning enter your homes. Close the door, shut it behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while till the fury has passed. We don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know how long the animated are going to walk the streets. We don't know how long they're going to be the animated. All I know is divine instructions you need to be filled with the holy spirit you need to have the power of god with you you need to protect yourself you need to hide yourself you need to have food stored we don't know when these things are gonna from among us be transformed and changed okay let's read revelations 9 and 6 which reads as during those days people will seek death but will not find it they will long to die but death will elude them they're going to be the walking dead. They're going to want to die because they're going to be raised from among the dead. But death would not, they're not going to be given over to it. It's just, it's just it's like they're going to be revived from death, but not totally dead. Okay. Now, we don't know what the appetite is going to be. I mean, the dreams I've had, the three dreams I've had that the Lord has given me, three dreams fall in the same dream, three different scenes. Their appetite was was us. They craved flesh. They craved blood. That, that's just what they were they were doing in the dreams I've I've been given. So, like I said, um, you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. You need to be born again. You need to carry the power of God, and you need to protect yourself. Okay, Revelations twenty and five, which reads as: The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is going to happen when. A um, thousand years in peace and prosperity with Christ. Those who are born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, who are God's chosen people, will reign and rule with Him a thousand years of peace and prosperity. But the undead, those who are sorcerers, whoremongers, arsoners, murderers, rapers, rapists, um, those who do all kind of wicked, evil things, who have not repented, will be in the dirt. They will not. 
be on the earth when Christ reigns with his with his with his church for a thousand years. So if you're among that church for a thousand years, consider yourself blessed and highly favored. But if you're not, I'm sorry. Um, there is going to be a judgment for the righteous and the wicked. And there are two lines. There is the great white throne of judgment, and then there's uh, the judgment seat of Christ. The righteous will be in the judgment seat of Christ, and the great white throne of judgment is for the wicked. Okay, let's read the book of Zechariah, Old Testament, 14 and 12, which reads as, And this shall be the plague with which the Lord will strike all the people that wage war against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they stand still, are still standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets, and their tongues will rot in their mouths. And this is what's coming for those who wage war against Jerusalem. This is what's getting ready to come. Okay? I don't know when. We don't know when. We don't know when people will be reanimated. Some will fall. It's a plague. It's going to be a plague. This is what the scripture tells me. Uh, I don't. I don't believe it's from COVID, but I uh, or the vat or whatever. But what I'm saying is, it's it's going to be another plague that's going to hit, and I, we don't know what or when, but it's going to be one that's going to hit. It's going to cause people to fall victim to this sort of plague. Okay, Jeremiah 19:9. Now this is something that happened that God had did to His people in the Old Testament because of their rebellion and their wickedness. And wanting nothing to do with him. And he plagued them with starvation, hunger, and famine. Okay? Which reads as, Jeremiah 99. I will make them eat the flesh of their sons and daughters. And they will eat one another flesh, eat one another's flesh, because their enemies will press the siege and take over. So hard against them to destroy them. They are not going to have anything to eat. The enemy is going to take over all the resources and food. So the famine is going to be so bad to where they're, they're going to eat, eat one another. Okay? God did this in Jeremiah 19, 9. Or he's going to do it. Now, Isaiah, Ezekiel, Jeremiah are major prophets. So Jeremiah was given this by the Lord. The Lord spoke to him and said, I will make them eat the flesh of their sons and daughters, and they will eat one another's flesh, because their enemies will press the siege so hard against them to destroy them. So if they're about to be destroyed, if everything's taken your resources, what are you going to have to eat? Okay? Now, this is the same that's coming up again in Zechariah, and this, this scripture. This is obviously something that's coming, that has not hit yet, okay, because it keeps saying a plague, okay, there's been different plagues that have hit mankind that, that the nations have experienced, but so far as a cannibalism where people are eating each other, I, I, no, we haven't experienced anything like that, okay, so Zechariah 14, 12, which reads as, this is the plague with which the Lord will strike the nations, these are nations, countries, different tongues of people who fought against Jerusalem. Jerusalem is this holy city, holy nation. It's holy. 